Audio Recording 95. Life in the city has gotten a little better, but it's still not great. All the concrete and bricks just make me miss the forest. Sometimes I go to a park that has trees, but it's not the same. I miss dirt roads, rocks, streams, and the river. Most of all, I miss Avery. Did you just talk? No. Well, yeah, I've just never heard a tree talk before. Right. Um, sorry for staring. Oh, this? I just took a spill back on the road. It's nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. My name? Oscar. Do you have a... Avery. Nice name. Right, no hands. So, are you a boy or a girl? A tree. Right. No reason. Well, actually, I was wondering if you wanted to have lunch with me tomorrow. I don't know. Really? How does 2.30 tomorrow sound? I'll bring food. Do you, do you eat? Okay, see you then, Avery.
Dinner in five. Hey, don't get the stuff mixed up with Abel's. He's coming to get his clothes over winter break, and it's all organized for him. I'm picking out an outfit for tomorrow. Did you hear what I said? Yes. What's the outfit for? I'm hanging out with a friend. A real friend? What does that even mean, Mom? I mean, is this friend a human or a teddy bear? You can't blame me for being skeptical. I'm sorry. I'm sure your friend is real. Dinner in five. And clean this stuff up. I brought water. My dad? Oh, he's actually an author, but he just finished one of his books, so he's taking a little break. He loves trees, actually. He sits by this one in the garden where he reads. My mom? Oh. Well, we kind of have a, a complicated relationship. She, I think it's because of the way she was raised, but I don't know. What about you? Right now, I'm just taking a break. I'm fried. I'm really happy to have a couple months of doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm living all about trees. I learned how they communicate and how they send nutrients. Avery knows all about it. So that's where you've been hanging out. That's so cool, Oscar. You seem happy. Yeah, I think I am. Avery, are you sure you're okay with this? Tell me at any point if you want me to stop. I don't talk to my mom anymore, except when we argue. She tells me that we came to the city for my sake, that she was done entertaining my delusions, and that it was time that I made some real friends. My dad usually stays out of it, but I know he misses the forest too. Maybe she's right about the whole entertaining my delusions thing. To be honest, with every passing day, the time we shared starts to feel more and more like a dream. School is still tough, but it's getting better. I've discovered that I love poetry. I joined the poetry club. We meet every Wednesday. I wrote a poem about Avery. It goes like this. If I had roots that grew long, with 10 inches of girth, I'd plant my feet next to you and shoot them into the earth. If I had such a choice, Next to you, I would park. I would wait day and night until my skin became bark. If I had branches and leaves where my hands used to be, I would point towards the sky and join you in the tree. But my feet are not roots. I am not made of wood. My hands are just hands. But maybe that's good. I can use my two feet to push off the ground. I can feel with my skin for a groove in your bark. I can hoist myself up with hand one and hand two. 
find a nice branch to sit and see the world from your view.